All right. Hot down. Coming back on whatever episode this would be. Um, we have our dog. He has a material applied to him. Albeit not in the right position. But still somewhat applied to him. In fact, we're going to close this material too. Or at least start it. We're going to open up a new one. Uh, we're going to name this Tut Dog. It's just so we can find it. Uh, I like to use a pretty high pixel count. Just so you can do stuff like that. Because otherwise it will come out crazy looking. Uh, 300 pixels per inch. Okay. Bam. Now again, you need to assign the channel, uh, your image map to the channel, Tut Dog Tiff, and bam, we have a brand new working crazy looking thing. Go ahead and move it so to refresh, and that computer chip will come up out of his neck. Want it? Oh man, the thing ain't coming out. Oh, there it goes. Okay. I don't know why it's still on there, but whatever. Moving forward. Alright, so we have a brown nosed dog. But he's black nosed. See, man, this is some old wild shit. I need a new machine. This thing is. Not swinging the way it should. All right. Sorry about that. In fact, you didn't even notice because I'm cutting that crap out. I had a brain fart moment. All right. Next, we're going to get into editing our texture. Preferably, this should be done in Photoshop but there's a few simple workarounds for one unless I'm just a complete retard I can't figure out how to import an image into here for nothing I've made a brand new layer um, I'll go grab an image let's see how about some honeycombs drop that sucker right on the image and that's what I get um, can't figure out any way around it maybe I'm stupid I've tried this this doesn't work I've tried dropping it from here. That doesn't work. The best I've been able to do is create a new texture of that image. And that's not too difficult. You just drag and drop right onto it. But that's not what I want. But there is a simple workaround. And that is via the brush tool. Or rather via the color tool. Now you take this brush. You go ahead and go to my tool section. Why is this not my brush? There we go. My tools. What the fuck? Oh, I got empty materials on here at the wazoo. Okay, here we go. Attributes. Okay, so let's start with the brush tool. Um, I guess all dogs got a black nose, right? Or maybe they got some crazy nose. Maybe you got a red nose pit. Whatever. That's your personal choice. But you can click the right, you can click the wheel and move it right or left and increase your brush size. I go ahead and do that real quick. We got issues in Candyland. Now 
There we go. We just had to do something to get a new uh, selection point. There we go. And sometimes it locks up like that. I'm not sure why either. Uh, maybe somebody has a great explanation, but I don't. In fact, let's pull this one out and close it. There we go. Now we won't have that problem no more. Bam. Alright, let's drag this back down. We don't need all that. Go to our brush. Alright. So now we got our dog with a black nose. Um. Something's going on, but I'm not sure what. I don't know why my dog is turning black when I start moving. That's crazy looking. Anyways, it doesn't seem to be much of a problem when you render, so we're not going to get hung up on it. Um, I guess next we'll go ahead and put in that computer chip, right? Uh, typically, you're going to need to know where it is. Thankfully, I already do, but I'm going to go through the process for you. And we're not going to select any of that. We're going to select in here. Bang. And you end up with those th this little section. This is your neck. And this is where you're going to want to put your computer chip. Now, as you remember, we can't figure out how to put no layer in here. And then just cut a little mask out or put it into place or none of that. So the simple little C4D workaround is called texture paint. And with texture paint, you can click in here, load from a current selection of texture if you want. Or you can load it straight from your disk, which is what I do every time. 